Hey guys, Mr. Judicia here. Um, just going to do a short, easy box making tutorial. Um, so we're not going to use the rectangular pattern. This is not the best way to build a box, but this is a pretty good, quick way. So uh, I'm going to draw the top and the bottom first. I'm going to make this box uh, roughly 100 by 200 by uh, 150. So. Make that one 150 and that one 200. So this is quite a big box. Um, gonna make it for three millimeter MDF. So that width there is three and uh, 20 looks good there. Actually, I'm gonna make 25. Okay, so these are the finger joints I'm putting in now. Use the midpoint constraint to get the middle of uh, the finger joint on the box. And then I'm going to draw some more of those. Right, so I'm going to put some in the corner as well. Um, that's 3 by 25. And then actually, if I hover over that value there, I see that's D4 and D1. D4 and D3. You can actually make that D3 and D4. And so that is D3 and D4. Alright, and another one in the center here. That is that one. And that one. And use that center point constraint to line them up properly again. Uh, click and hold lets you pick which line you're after. Okay, so now I have almost all the finger joints sorted. So you use the mirror tool now to put them around the rest of the box. So I need some lines down the center. And they're just construction lines. So that's X to make them construction designs. Won't matter if you don't do that. Okay, now I'm just gonna use a mirror tool and I think we have everything we need now. So uh, mirror this one and this one and this one along this line. Um, double click to select the whole rectangle. Okay, so I now have the top and the bottom. So, I'm going to make that an offset. I'm not sure I was going to make it. Uh, it's 100, 100 high, so 50 in that direction, 3 mil. And that's the top, and then I'm going to use the mirror tool. the bottom. All right, now this isn't quite 100 high, but um, it'll be 106, I think. Okay, I'm going to sketch now. I'm going to sketch on that inside finger joint there. Okay. Uh, 
I'm actually going to use the center point rectangle and then that will line everything else up. So I know that should be 106 and that should be 150. And that was still D3. D4. And this will be the finger joints for the side piece. So uh, center point, midpoint, line it up. Put another line down the center here. And mirror that across. What else do we need? We need uh, probably it. Okay, so I'll grab this one now and extrude that out. And make that a new body. Okay, and mirror that one across. Okay, now. If we have a look in here, we still actually have a problem because the top is going to be occupying the same physical space as the right hand side. So what we're going to do is use that combine tool and cut out those extra holes. So tool bodies and cut and Kick tools. Okay, now we just need the ends. So again, I'm going to sketch on that inside finger joint and should be 106 by 200. And just extrude that one. Uh, three mil. New body. And put all the holes in it. For the fingers. And click and hold will actually select you select behind there and then I can mirror that across and there we go box complete Okay, now it's not bad. We might look at this and think, yeah, it's pretty good. It'll do. Or we might think, gee, it'd be nice with a few more finger joints, maybe an extra finger joint in here and maybe an extra one in here. So let's just have a look at how we might add those in. So if we go back to our original sketch, I decide we want an extra finger joint in here. So it's uh, D3, no, D4. And D3. And now we just need to get that lined up so it's equal between those other points. So really simple. I'm going to draw a line in there.
Probably also worth considering how we can edit this drawing in other ways now. So I'm going to go back to my original sketch and I decided that instead of being 200, I really wish I'd made it 250. That did not work because that mirror line's not been locked to the center. So we'll just lock that first. Interesting, it didn't lock it automatically. Let's see, try that again. Okay, there we go. Everything shifted then, okay. It's a matter then of how that affect the rest of the sketch. And if we just go back through the, um, the timeline here, we can see that the side's actually really still good. It's just that front one there. Going to make that 250 as well. Be smarter. If I made that D1 to start with, it would have changed. And there we go, that box still works fine. So that's kind of cool. Once you've set everything up right, you can kind of just edit things as you need them. Um, if I wanted the finger joints actually to be a bit smaller, um, see if that works. That should change almost all of them. Alright, so if you take a bit of care when you're drawing, um, you can actually edit and change your 3D shapes when you're done. That's it. Box done. Demo done. See ya.